The Brady Bunch Visits the Grand Canyon. It's a classic episode of a classic series, and one that Viewmaster decided to immortalize in 1971. Let's talk about the Viewmaster itself here on today's episode of Terrific TV Toys. I'm Brian Lombard, guest host for this episode. Now, the Viewmaster itself has its origins in 1919, but it wasn't released on the market until 1940. One year earlier, it was introduced to the world at the very famous 1939 World's Fair in New York City. And uh, from there, in its earliest days, its applications were typically tourist attractions. You know, places around the world that your average American probably would never get to or wouldn't have the time to. Ironically enough, one of the very first Viewmaster sets was of the Grand Canyon. So it's probably not a coincidence in that in 1971, they decided to immortalize this episode of the series, among all the others that had aired at that point. So, in, like, like I said, in the early days, it was all about tourist attractions. But then in the 1940s, when America was engaged in World War II, the United States government saw that the Viewmaster would have military applications. And they used it as a very effective tool for training, re, training troops who were going off to Europe. Uh, and that went on until the end of the war in 1945. Then in the 60s, it became really what we know it as today, a pop culture item intended for kids, featuring you know, things that kids were interested into. Those early ones that came out in the 60s featured classic television series, you know, such as The Brady Bunch, and ones that were also very popular at the time, like Star Trek, uh, Get Smart, and The Beverly Hillbillies. So then in 1971, we got to this set, The, the Brady Bunch. And uh, let's talk about that series itself. The Brady Bunch began in 1969 and lasted for five seasons, and uh, it has never left the air. A ton of merchandising has been done over the years, books, television series. I don't know, I wrote this one in particular, Brady Palooza, uh, in 2004. And uh, it has never gone off the air in all that time. I think everybody knows that it's been one of the most successful series of all time. And uh, it, it is really uh, something that has captivated audiences for years. In fact, this past uh, summer, in uh, uh, 2014, the first annual Brady Bunch convention was held in New Jersey. And most of the surviving cast members were there, and uh, this author included. So the Brady legacy will continue for years to come. And uh, this uh, set itself, I should say, uh, I've owned it for about 20 years. Uh, I picked it up at a convention back in the mid-90s. And I'm at least a third owner I know about it. The guy got it from somebody dirt cheap and then sold it to me for not cheap. But the Master itself, uh, it's kind of interesting. This came out in the 90s and it's a 3D version, whereas the slides, which were produced in the 70s, were not 3D. They still work together, though. I'm not exactly sure why. But uh, I'm always able to see the Bradys at the Grand Canyon, just as you saw at the beginning of this episode. That's all I've got to say for this episode of Terrific TV Toys. The Brady Bunch visits the Grand Canyon. I hope you enjoyed it. Gotta go now because it's time for some pork chops and applesauce.